Hey there, friends. It's me, Janine. Welcome back in. I am inviting you to come along on this little video journey with me. It's an exercise in being found, being lost, and being found. And um, I took a beautiful course where I was instructed to go back and find everything I could that I had made or created, art that I had done, as a way to remember that I do and we do all have our past and our history and some of us need to do this exercise to banish the bullies and the imposter syndrome and all of those things that have been making us feel that we don't belong, that we aren't worthy, that we are not makers or creators or artists, but we all are. And so this was a really fun exercise for me to go back and look back through my childhood, my childhood art, to remember what I am. Old fashioned, I love old fashioned things, handmade things. I'm super low tech, but I'm constantly trying to learn I just like things to be real and I just want to stop being discouraged so I'm using this as a way to move forward looking at all of this fun <laughs> art that were my first pieces and then pretty soon I'll be showing you the ones that I was most excited to find that I thought I had lost, that I had done when I was about 15 years old. But anyway, I grew up scared and introverted and shy and afraid of rejection. So I just avoided everything that might bring it on. And I really didn't think I had a place in the art world. But now I understand that everyone does. Everyone belongs. There's room for all of us. And I have been taking some amazing classes online for a couple of years from amazing women who have been making sure that that is the message we're all getting. So this is my portfolio, my life's work, ha ha. And the purpose is to face things for what they really are and banish those lies. So here's a little bit of our home life. I was one of six girls. It was kind of a crazy household at times, as you can see. So we had some in-town life and we had some out-of-town ranch life. So just some memories. The fam. The farm. And I guess we got cleaned up for this one. My sisters, our three cute kids, which are grown adults now. And we have six precious grandchildren. Here is my commercial break to talk about my adorable little antique and vintage shop, Sage Vintage Market in Poncha Springs, Colorado, and where I will be bringing, producing and bringing some online courses, which I think will be very encouraging and sweet.
I was a daydreamer, still am. So these are some of our earliest boutiques and markets and sales that we did. Always doing those, playing with photography, exploring, noticing, trying to find the pretty way, making, baking, thrifting, picking, walking through our gorgeous cemetery, photographing the angels, doing Christmas store windows. And here I am in my own little antique and vintage shop, practicing, learning, growing, and preparing to produce these online art classes. Doable, affordable, and encouraging. Here's one of many stacks of albums, journals, notebooks, full of art, scrapbooking, assemblage, favorite quote, and this is an all-construction 3D park that I created when I was about 13, I think. This is my favorite piece of art that I found that I thought I had lost when I was about 17. I was in gymnastics, and I biffed it and dislocated my right shoulder, so I had to draw with my left hand, and in art class, we were supposed to be doing contrast Drawings anyway, contrast, that's not the right word. And these are my favorite. I think they were amazing for what they were. So just always becoming, always creating, making, selling, thrifting, and always dreaming of art, making art, sharing art and so I'm going to be an encourager through this helping people banish the bullies in their lives I've always loved creating little books little old-fashioned newspapers our daughter's wedding program wedding cakes birthday cakes, more wedding cakes, and I've lettered and painted more funny little signs than I would ever be able to count. This is my shop. Here's another market in the park. Here's another antique mall booth. Furniture, always painting furniture. This is faux marble that I did on top of this hutch. I love this farm quilt I made, a bullseye quilt, many, many quilts, especially old fashioned and vintage style, soft and sweet and warm, more furniture refinishing, another commercial break this portfolio of banishing the bully is brought to you by sage vintage market where soon we will be bringing we means i online art courses lost arts old things wise things repurposing reusing thrifting we, I love, we love redecorating, creating our beautiful home, playing with apps for photography, photo flat lays. So I found a treasure trove, scribbling, painting, little houses in town, a funny little rendering of a homestead in our town, and we love creating our beautiful, beautiful high country garden. 
we did all of our daughter's wedding and it turned out absolutely gorgeous and magic magical and so I have taught many classes I taught 12 years of Pilates but I really love teaching art so it will be coming up shortly in the form of doable, affordable, sweet and encouraging online classes. Thank you for joining me.